Brent, Sarah, that 1%, about $15 million. But that's just what individual towns have budgeted for housing. With affordability still a big issue in Connecticut, the state says they've earmarked a lot more money. Oh, it's absolutely an issue here in Connecticut. The state is currently short over 85,000 affordable housing units, according to the National Low Income Housing Coalition. 30% of Connecticut's renter households are extremely low income, and residents now need to earn nearly $58,000 annually in order to afford a two bedroom rental at fair market rate. We can never build enough um, to keep up with demand, um, to be frank. Um, but um, every bit of investment we do make um, takes a bite out of the problem. Santoro says there are roughly 3,900 units under construction right now statewide, and the vast majority of development is funded by state dollars. Connecticut is one of only four states that invest significant amounts of state resources into the development and preservation of affordable housing. He says Connecticut has invested just under 59 million of its direct ARPA allocation for affordable housing or housing related activities. And the State Department of Housing received $50 million alone to create new affordable housing opportunities. There are a wide variety of resources that we are using in conjunction with that $50 million worth of ARPA dollars to create new affordable housing opportunities across the state. Besides just building more affordable housing units, the state says they're also funding projects like rental assistance programs. Santoro says in order to mitigate this issue, the state needs to continue everything they're doing now, but on a larger scale. I reached out to state representatives on the Legislative Housing Committee, but did not hear back. In the newsroom, Emma Wolforst, Fox 61 News.